reading that um, this movie was very personal to mm. you. And I know every film you make will be personal to some degree, but did this feel especially personal? Yes, I think it's, uh, it's really personal because everything in the film is related to episodes of my life when I was there in Madagascar uh, in the beginning of the 70s. But uh, weirdly, you know, I, I don't think it's autobiographic. It's really that, you know, I, 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 I take all these memories, all these, sens these sensations, and I try to create, to build like a, a, an architecture. And it's really, for me, it becomes really a kind of fiction, something that is very, not so close to me. And I'm very, I'm, I don't think that films are like mirrors. I think they are like windows. So I, uh, I'm more interested in um, the actors I choose to do the film uh, than by the characters we were at the period. That's more interesting. So, so it's very personal, but the fact that I do a film about that, it's like I become a stranger to myself and I try to think um, differently. But what is true also is that the film is about perceptions of, uh, of the things at the moment, of the, the situation there. And so it's, uh, you are very much in the head, in the head of the child, and it's a. Uh, I liked to be, to go through his sensations. Mm. What, what do you think it is about um, a child's perspective which makes such kind of captivating cinema? There's a long history of great films that come in from a child's perspective. It's because you know a child's perspective is that as if the the, the child is. Uh, 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 as if sensations were going th through him, the things he hears, the, 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 the things he sees, all this thing, but it doesn't become words. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't become a, a real conscious. It's like at the very beginning of the sensation. Mm -hmm. You know, for instance, it's, uh, this child is uh, in the middle of a uh, uh, colonial paradise and he's leaving this paradise, but at the same time, he, he, he feels that there's something wrong, that something is not uh, right about their presence there. So it's not like he's aware of the colonialism, he has no idea, but he's um, afraid of something he cannot name. And for me, that's an object of cinema because it's not words, mm -hmm. it's before words and it's the sensations before words. So that's why people are very attached to uh, the, the, perce the perception of a child in films, you know. When you take the, the last film of uh, Spielberg, Spielberg, the guy is a little bit uh, older, mm -hmm. and the, the difference, because I think this film is about also the, the fact that I was imagining myself as a director. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's related to cinema, but the difference, it's. B it, when you see the character of uh, Spielberg, he, he, he had a, a camera very quickly, mm -hmm. and I was not mm -hmm. at this age, you know. And so, for me, the relation to cinema is a, a relation of perception, of mm -hmm. looking and hearing the others. Yeah, because I always think when you look at um, adult behavior from a child's perspective, it makes us seem so frivolous. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah, but um, I was going to ask, I mean, I loved the, because uh, I loved also what you get is imagination when you have a yeah. child's perspective. And I love the kind of the comic book superhero element. Mm -hmm. I just wondered, did you have a form of escapism when you were a kid? Was there a certain superhero or cartoon character that you used to think yes, about a lot? It, it, my, it was the character in the oh, film. Was, really, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a French character mm -hmm. called Fantomet. Mm -hmm. Uh, like a she ghost, mm -hmm. uh, and um, and uh, I love this character, and uh, for many reasons. For first of all, she has she had no parents, mm -hmm. and I thought I thought it was something very I would have liked to be <laughs> an orphan. Mm -hmm. I imagine mm -hmm. I would have liked, but it's not true. Mm -hmm. But and uh, she has no parents. Mm -hmm. uh, she was living on her own, and. Uh, and she, she was a, a girl, mm -hmm. and I, 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 you know, I was in a very uh, uh, virile, virile uh, mm -hmm. uh, place, and uh, you know, because it was a military base, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I was kind of 
thinking of myself as a, a girl, a, a, a justice girl. And so that's why I was inspired by, the, by this character. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you have to imagine that it was my only a relation with France, mm. with the territory of France, because I didn't know France so well. Mm. So it my, my, my imagination was really uh, uh, connected to her. And uh, when I tried to do this uh, part of the film, uh, um, I decided very quickly to make it with uh, small models of cities, mm. you know, because it was the, the, the France th that is, is described in this film, in these books, doesn't exist mm. uh, anymore, and it never existed, in fact. Uh, you, you mentioned that the film is not autobiographical, mm. but I'm interested, because I know Nadia was playing a role kind of inspired by yeah. your mother. Yeah. So when you were giving uh, instructions and you were directing her, did you find yourself thinking about what your mother might have said, a mother might have done, or did it become the character on the page? No, it became a really a character, yeah. because I, I think that, um, you know, for instance, when my brothers mm. see the films, it was like, uh, you know, the invasion of body snatchers because they look like us, mm. but they are definitely yeah. not like us. And uh, so that's why I say the fiction is more important than reality and uh, the past. And I don't believe in that. Mm. The, the character is more inspired by Nadia Tereskevich than by my mother, I think. But what I, the situations are the, the, the same, that, mm. but... It's not exactly, I don't try, you know, I don't try to take uh, actors and to make them fit in what I was thinking of my mother, of mm -hmm. my, the, the real character at the moment. I try to create something new, something mm -hmm. really, um, uh, I try to, 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 to understand how it worked between people. And it's like a, a, a question of dominations between the, the, char the characters. So all these elements, as I say, all these, these elements of reality, mm -hmm. they have a, a new perspective in the film and are, that is more important than the reality. Mm -hmm. It's quite a long uh, gap between uh, 120 um, beats per minute and, and, and this mm. one, hit, uh, this film. I just wondered, because all of your films have sort of a few years between them. Uh, is there a, but is that, because I know I like that. I like filmmakers that take their time between projects. Um, is there a reason for the gap? Do you like to have, do you like to do lots of research? Is, is the process just quite long for you? Is, uh, but first of mm. all, I'm very lazy. <laughs> that uh, explains a lot, I think. <laughs> but uh, it's also that um, I tried, you know, th that's wonderful that this film is called uh, Red Island mm. because I tried to make a film as if I was discovering a, a new mm. island. Mm. I like to, you know, to, to join the, uh, a new shore, you know, mm. uh, and uh, you discover a place with... Uh, different laws, uh, different landscape, and you try to understand what is it, this island. For me, it's like that, a film. It's mm -hmm. not, I'm not, I'm not trying to have a career where everything is logical and I explain to people uh, what are my purpose about in terms of uh, cinematography or this, this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I try to reinvent myself. Mm -hmm. I try to become someone else and through my films. Mm -hmm. So that's why it takes time and, uh, and the film doesn't look like each other, but they are mm. really connected in fact, but mm. uh, it's not so obvious, but it is, it is for me. Mm. But uh, I like to take my time and to, I would be bored if, if, if I, uh, I could do films mm. very more quickly, but mm. I wouldn't be so interested, but um, that's uh, my, the way I work, mm. uh, I don't, so what do you think is the, the connecting sort of tissue to your, to your film so far? It's very simple. For mm. me, it's mm. very... very um, um, in cinema, you have to choose your uh, side. Mm. Or you make films about intimacy, and it's like uh, uh, psy 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 psychological or love stories of relation between people. And, uh, and you have the collective, the political thing, which is mm. like uh, uh, more social or... Uh, more collective, it's a lot of people uh, coming together. And w I try to make films about the connection, about mm. the intimacy and the politics, mm. and uh, how it works, and how uh, our intimacy is connected to mm. a general vision of society. And s that's what I try to, I try to do. So it's mm. always the um, 
paradox mm -hmm. between uh, these two dimensions, and I don't want to choose between uh, these two, mm -hmm. you know? So, so for instance, this film is very uh, in the mind of a child, and for me, it's, my, it's more a political film than mm -hmm. uh, BPM, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, BPM is more about uh, how it is possible to make a political difference in our life um, with our own experience, our very intimate experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to do. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what I all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!